Hey guys, Brandon here with another church stage design idea. Actually, this one's probably more of a tweak. Uh, what you see behind me here is a 20 uh, by 30 foot projection screen that we use during our worship services. Uh, and what you can see behind, something we've added that you may haven't seen in our other videos, is some black banjo curtain. Uh, it's the curtain they use at convention center to, to wall off the booths. I'll show you that uh, in just a moment. Uh, but what I do want to show you is the difference that that black background makes for our lighting uh, and projection. So what you see here is the black banjo drape uh, with a 5,000 lumen uh, projector that we're actually projecting from the balcony, which is right where I'm standing, uh, just a few foot over, uh, onto uh, a white spandex screen. Uh, we're going to take the fabric down and let you see the difference on the projection and the lighting that that black background absorbing the extra light in the room makes for your stage and lighting design. All right, all we've done now is taken down the black fabric uh, that we had up there just a moment ago and you can already see the edges around behind the back are catching the extra light from the room uh, and bouncing it back which subsequently makes the room feel brighter and makes the projector look dimmer. Same light setting, same camera setting, same video projector setting. It's just that the beige wall causes the light uh, to reflect a little more uh, and so it, it bleaches out uh, the video image uh, and it causes the room to feel much brighter than it actually is. All right, now we've taken the projection screen down and we have uh, the platform lit and we have the crowd warmer lights on, but you can see there's very little light cast beyond the platform. Uh, and so with the fabric, we're able to keep the light contained just to where we want it. I'll show you uh, again one more time. I'll take the black fabric down and let you see what that looks like without uh, the absorption there uh, provided by that black fabric. All right, now you can see we've taken the black fabric down and you can again see all of the light that's being reflected from the stage lighting. Same stage lighting, same camera lighting, same camera settings. Uh, just a lot more light in the room because of the absence of the black fabric. So this is a little closer look at our banjo fabric. Uh, you can see it's not a blackout material, uh, but that's okay in our application because we don't have uh, light coming through the wall, obviously. Um, what was important for us is we needed to be able to take it uh, down and put it up between our contemporary and traditional services uh, here at our church. So we just used some electrical conduit. Uh, we put three panels. The manufacturer recommends four, but in our application we found that three worked best. Uh, so we put three panels per 10-foot piece of conduit. We put some drywall screws in the wall, and then we're able just to set the conduit on top of the drywall screws. It makes it really easy to put it up and take it down. Now what was important for us in being able to put the fabric up, as you'll see in just a moment, the absorption of extra light in the room goes up exponentially when we get when we remove the beige wall by covering it up with this black fabric. Uh, it makes our projectors look brighter. It makes our stage lights look more uh, controlled as you don't see all the spillover and the beige doesn't actually amplify the light back in the room and make it appear brighter uh, than actually the output of our lights. As always, if you have any questions about this stage design video or any of our other stage design videos, leave a comment in the comment section below or you can tweet us at PS underscore Brandon Cook. We always love to hear from you and we are grateful for the opportunity to help you be creative in your context.